summit of Mount Wellington and I'm going to head across on the uh, people track I think, the one that goes along the skyline. I don't know. Anyway, it's the same thing. This part of Mount Wellington is pretty amazing because, well, forget for a moment that Hobart's there, you literally could be anywhere in the southwest. Massive dolerite boulders, no civilization besides, besides these stakes. Pretty spectacular. I think that's the Clark Ridge out there. I'm going to be heading straight. Well, not for very long because there is a turn off which I want to take, which shouldn't be too far away. I think I'm going to have to watch my step a bit more. I nearly just stepped on a snake. It was pretty small though, so I don't think it was a tiger. Well, hopefully, this is the right way. It looks a little bit like a track. Well, I've passed lots of small little rock hands like that, so I'm obviously on the right path, but it's pretty hard to follow at times, so I'm going to have to keep my eye out. I believe this part is called Devil's Gulch. Uh, I have a feeling I've gone off the track, so this could be a long walk this section. pretty hard to pick up at first but I'm well into it now and it's pretty easy going at the moment so sooner or later I'll be in the potato fields Time for a boulder field crossing. Luckily there are cans. Vegetation's changed a little bit. We're now walking through a bit of light alpine forest instead of across boulders. Now how long goes to go. It's starting to become a little bit overgrown. I wonder when the last person who came along here actually was. Foods down there. When you walk in this section of the track, you want to be following these red paint marks on the boulders as well as small little rock cans like this one. Well, I just got lost in a boulder field back then. Couldn't find the next can, but it ended up being at right angles. So, I'm back on the path now. Well, this track is so sure overgrown. I really could do with gators right now. But they're at home. Certainly do with a few more of these. I'm here at last, the potato fields. Now I've just gotta find my way to the main track. Well, it looks like I'm on to the Wellington Falls track now. There's no sign or anything to the track I was just on. So I'll follow this for a while and then it turns into the mills track and then I'll eventually I'll be at the springs. I don't know how long it'll take but it's all flat pretty much so hopefully not too long. Back of Cathedral Rock. 
I didn't think about going to Wellington Falls, but I just thought, oh, it's just a little bit too far to come return from here. Well, I'm here at the Snake Plains track turn off. Well, according to the map, I'm about halfway between the potato fields and the springs. So if I continue on that way, it's taken me about 40 minutes to get here. I've been walking pretty steadily, so maybe in 40 minutes we'll be at the springs. Ever since the turn off to Snake Plains, it's been a lot easier going walking wise. There are less rocks on the track and it's a lot flatter. Less likely for me to break off, sprain my ankle. Bit of mud actually, surprisingly. Been walking through this really nice section of track with ferns, tall trees and easy walking. Now I've come to this really nice little section where the water just comes out of the ground. What a view it is. It's part of Fern Tree down there, South Arm over there, Kingston, Storm Bay. Spectacular. Just a little bit further down the track. Hopefully it comes back into view. Well, I just passed the turn off to the Ice House track, so no, I'm now minutes away from the springs. The springs. At long last, I've made it to the springs.